Saggy. Saggy Mike? <laughs> That's what they called you, didn't they? <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we are making crispy homemade home fries with an egg on top from the new book, A Man, A Pan, A Plan by Paul Kita. And I'm Paul Kita. And you're here in my home kitchen where I created these recipes and it's incredibly simple. We're going to use one pan today to cook them all. First thing you need, three large potatoes. And we're just going to dice these kind of kind of small. Sorry that my stomach is rumbling. I actually have not eaten yet. We're gonna dump all this in the, into it and then we're gonna submerge it in water and we're gonna boil them in a pan. You don't need a giant pot to do it. In fact, it's way quicker. Science. We're not gonna measure. We're just gonna give them a little potato sauna. That's it. Potato sauna is ready to go. We're just gonna dice these up nice and small. Red onion. Click right here <laughs> to learn how to slice an onion. We're gonna get stinky. Just pick that off. You could save the parsley stems for a stock if you want, or for standing out in the field, surveying your, your parsley crops. Uh, but really, you don't need to. All right, these are looking good. I'm ready to dump. We can get out a pan lid. Isn't this great? Look at that, huh? Sometimes I just sit here doing this for hours. My wife wonders what's going on, but we're going to carefully transfer and drain. And then they're going back in the pan. This is the beauty of a man, a pan, a plan. Take some olive oil, throw it on here. I've turned the heat down to medium. I don't really measure. So if you're asking me how many tablespoons is that, Mike, look at the book. Look at the book. Look at the book. Look at the book. We're going to give the hot oil what it wants. When we put the drained potatoes in, it's gonna soak up all that delicious oil. All right, one layer, one even layer. You know, I may even have too many potatoes in this pan, but I don't care, we're reckless. Bad boys, what you gonna do? Has it been five to seven minutes, Mike? You're yeah. supposed to be keeping track of this stuff. You're not doing anything else to help around here. We've stirred them up, now we wait. And we let the potatoes do their thing. This means we're getting close to eating. Perfect. At this time, you will also add your freshly ground black pepper. I'm not using the stuff from the shaker, the pre-ground stuff. That's dirt pepper. It tastes like dirt. I like a lot of pepper. So I usually crank until my forearm starts to get tired. I know what you're thinking. Mine out of the gutter. Kosher salt, always kosher salt. I just like being able to reach in, touch the salt, feel how much I'm putting in. Oh, we sizzling. We want the uh, red bell peppers to look kind of al dente. You know, you want them to still retain their bright men's health red. You don't want to cook all of the moisture out of them. This, this is the kind of, uh, uh, bless you. I gotta get one of my grandma bowls. You're gonna love this, right? How 1972 is that? And I know because my grandmother, Grammy, Connie, gave this bowl to me. So don't laugh. Because if you're laughing at this bowl, you're laughing at Connie. These look really nice. I'm going to put the majority of them into the Connie bowl. Mike, do you notice how we're doing this all in one pan? Look at the book. We're, gonna, we're just going to plate these here. Butter, I think, is best for eggs. Butter. Butter, I hardly even know her. <laughs> Cooking when you're hungry is brutal. Easy test to see if your sunny side up eggs are ready to go. Jiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna take these hash browns out. We're just gonna transfer these beauties. Look, watch, no jiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See, everything's, everything's sitting in the right place. And uh, to top it off, we're doing a little bit of parsley that we chopped up earlier, because that looks nice. Um, a little bit of sea salt. I usually got some sea salt on hand, just a pinch. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne on top. Right here, man a pan a plan. Crispy homemade home fries. One perfect sunny side up egg, or in this case, two kind of perfect ones. But this is an Instagram. Mm -hmm. 